Hi guys, today I do some reverse engineering and compare <coughs> Bigodis battery quality, build quality from Master. Originally it looked like this. I put some Velcro on it just for testing. But uh, then we have some screws here and then plastic brackets down and up and everything is inside plastic box see the plastic box you just with some silicone in it. Here you go. And then here is the big body battery from Master. Inside same plastic box. You see how cushy it is? Squishy? Chichi. It um, the danger of it it's exposed to wheelhouse only one millimeter between small stones, screws and stuff that uh, you get in into your, within your wheel, into your wheelhouse. And then on the inside you have a BMS. You see here the MOSFETs on, on BMS. It's really vulnerable. I think battery connections is okay. It's like one centimeter wide, much wider than before. The battery quality, I think it's it's good. It's sealed. It's usual with plastic, um, blue shrink film around. The capacity of this battery is 450 watt hour for. Uh, 40T, Samsung 40T or Molly cells, it's almost the same. Um, here you have battery from 9 boot. I fish it out from, from the water. It's water damaged battery from the lake. Uh, 9 boot battery. It's 1004 watt hour. It's double, it's more than a double compared to to be gorgeous battery right uh, 36 volt instead of um, instead of 67 we have in in uh, master 67 by by 2 is 134 in, in total Let's open this one and check how it, how it look inside. You see how much bigger a thicker plastic it is here. It's so much more difficult to open. Oh. It's like four or five millimeters plastic. And you know, nine boot doesn't do in cycles anymore. Ask me why. Because of liability, it's so much more dangerous business with unicycles. Wow. Look how it looks, just to comparison. Bigotti, nine boot, right? You see the difference? And 
this pack is just sealed just molded into silicone look this is silicone we're talking about and here I have the cells This is how it should be. Or, well, you tell me. Think about it. This battery, it's for renting scooters. Now you see how it, what the damage it is inside. Let's see some rust inside of this package. Yeah, it's water inside. But still, you see the build quality? It's molded in silicone. It sells, it's uh, welded. All together. It's machine welding. I think it's less a weight building. Yeah. <sighs> this is how it is. A nine bot doesn't do unicycle, doesn't sell unicycle anymore that you can store around and it can catch fire in your home. Because it does, and we have to protect our batteries. If you store it at home, you have to have much better protection than this one. These scooters, it just stay outside, stay on the streets, you know, you can rent it. And uh, even these scooters has BMS, thermal sensors and stuff. And you see so much more rugged quality. It's amazing. Yeah. Do you understand? So you take it seriously. Nine bot doesn't take any risks. Look. All the silicone is to make it rugged, shockproof. To some extent, fireproof. I see boxes in plastic, right? But then on the top, they put some metal sheets, you see? This one I'm talking about is protection for from fireworks when um, cells explode inside. You have this one millimeter aluminum yes sheet that lie like this so it protect yeah, cells from flying out and catching fire around in your sofa and in your house Just so you know, guys, this is how it is.